What I wanted to mention was Jane Gentry and Richard Will say you guys want a line in the Chicago draft. Jet planes and swimming pools. Yeah, that our opponents want to help the rich pay for bigger swimming pools and faster private jets. Yeah. Hit them hard. Well, we are hitting them hard, but I'm not going to use the line. Why not? First of all, it's bad writing. Well, what's wrong with it? it? Sounds like it was written by a high school girl. Is there something wrong with the way women write? There usually is when she's in high school. Sam! It's not the writing. Come on, Henry. Faster private jets and swimming pools. We can take out the heavy bats now. And do what with them? The line works. So does How About Dem Cowboys when you're playing a club in Dallas. But the line isn't going to change the mind of anyone who doesn't already agree with us. Sam, are you in favor of tax cuts for the wealthy? I am not. I am in favor of tax cuts for those for whom it will do the most good. And that's a tough enough battle. And it looks like all of a sudden we've got a fair fight. But I'm not talking about policy. I'm talking about rhetoric and the men you work for need to dial it down to five. Henry, last fall, every time your boss got on the stump and said it's time for the rich to pay their fair share, I hid under a couch and changed my name. I left Gage Whitney making 400000 a year, which means I paid 27 times the national average in income tax. I paid my fair share and the fair share of 26 other people. And I'm happy to, because that's the only way it's going to work. And it's in my best interest that everybody be able to go to schools and drive on roads. But I don't get 27 votes on election day. The fire department doesn't come to my house 27 times faster, and the water doesn't come out of my faucet 27 times hotter. The top 1% of wage earners of this country pay for 22% of this country. Let's not call them names while they're doing it, is all I'm saying. You're not using the line? No. Or anything like it? No. And I hope you'll make it clear to your people that this has nothing to do with diluting our position or cozying up to Republicans. No, oh, why would they think that? We've got a caucus. I know plenty of women who can write, Helen. I know women who can blow the walls off brick buildings. This sounds like a girl.